Hi everyone, I'm Krista Thomason and I am an associate professor in the philosophy department here at Swarthmore College. And today I'm going to ask you a philosophical question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Now, on the one hand, a hot dog is meat on a bun or between two pieces of bread. So at the very least, it seems to share some of the features that we normally attribute to sandwiches. On the other hand, if someone asked you, hey, do you want to go get a sandwich? I bet you wouldn't expect to end up at a hot dog stand. Now, when philosophers ask questions like these, we often get the same reaction. What's the point? Questions like these are what we call conceptual questions. When we're asking whether a hot dog is a sandwich, what we're doing is testing the boundaries of our concept of a sandwich. We're asking how to define it. So do we define a sandwich as meat on a bun or between two pieces of bread? Or do we define a sandwich as whatever we think of when we use the term sandwich? Asking conceptual questions like these might seem like a pointless activity, but notice that we don't treat all conceptual questions like that. So for example, when we're thinking about enacting a policy, let's suppose it's about punishment, or let's suppose it's about voting rights, we would ask, well, which policy is the most just? Notice that in order to answer that question, we at least have to have some sense of what justice is to be able to make the right decision. When the stakes are really high, and we're thinking about something like justice, conceptual questions seem important. When the stakes are sort of low, and we're thinking about things like hot dogs, the questions seem less important. But notice, it's the same kind of thinking that's going on in both questions. Both of them are about concepts. Both of them are about definitions. These are conceptual questions, and these are the kinds of questions that philosophers love to ask. Asking conceptual questions is really important. It's only by thinking about what our concepts are that we're able to revise them and that we're able to think in new ways about them. Major social change has come about because someone at some point asked the question, is this really justice? Most of us live the majority of our lives without thinking about some of the most basic assumptions we hold. But philosophy teaches us to, as Bertrand Russell would say, hang a question mark on the things that we have long taken for granted. It's only by asking questions about what our concepts are that we're able to ask what they could be. 